Welcome back to Squawk Box this morning. BlackRock CEO Larry Fink's annual letter is out this morning. Um, and uh, Fink argues that uh, in this letter uh, that it is not woke for businesses to think beyond profits. The world's largest asset manager now overseeing $10 trillion under management, the firm announcing in its latest quarterly results last week. And I asked Larry where he sees the economy right now and his outlook on Federal Reserve policy. Listen to what he had to say. You have supply chain problems. You have real big increases in capital goods spending. You have inflation that was created by some of the sustainability measures by not focusing on demand and more on supply mitigation. Um, and, and, and we also have an economy that's paying the cost right now of having less immigration. And we have rising wages. Now, rising wages, in many cases, is a blessing and great. But many comp do, are companies having the ability to pass on those rising wages and rising inflation? Or are they going to be absorbing them <clears throat> in their earnings? Do they have ability to keep their margins high and absorb all this through better operating uh, successes. So all this is going to be transcending into, you know, are we going to have higher inflation or lower inflation in, in the next year? I believe we're going to have higher inflation. I believe we are going to have an aggressive Federal Reserve over the course of the next two years. But Andrew, I'm not worried about that. I mean, I actually believe having a two and a half percent short term rate, which means, you know, what is that? That's 10. That's 10 tightenings if they had that. A two and a half percent short term rate is going to help a lot of savers finally earn money in their savings. The big question that we all have to understand, though, if we had a two and a half percent short term rate, what does that mean? What does that mean for the 10 year rate? Does that mean the 10-year rate's going to stay at two and a half? Does it mean the 10-year rate's going to be at two? Or does that mean the 10-year rate's going to be at four and a half? The shape of the yield curve is going to be the critical issue that's going to determine the economy. And there has been a lot of noise about, a lot of people think the yield curve is going to be uh, very steep. I don't believe that. And I think I've said that in your show in the past. I think the yield curve is going to be flattening. I, you know, And I can even see if the Federal Reserve is very aggressive, uh, I can see a, you know, a negative yield curve. Um, but, you know, I do believe we will find ways to arrest inflation over the course of the next year or two. But we're making all these adjustments right now. And, and we are in an inflationary period right now with, you know, with last print was 7 percent. So um, this is something we're all going to have to adjust and we're all going to have to live with. But that does not mean the equity markets have to fall.